Gautama Buddha once said, your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own unguarded thoughts. In the big picture of life, there's a strange twist that we need to understand. It's like a puzzle where our choices and the way we live our lives are the pieces. On one hand, we have the wisdom of Buddha, who showed us how to find deep happiness, inner calm and enlightenment. But on the other hand, there are seven habits that can lead us down a different path, a path of endless unhappiness. These habits are like traps, waiting to snare those who aren't careful. If you choose this path, you're signing up for a life full of gloom, where happiness seems far away and life is like a never-ending storm. This, by no means, is to encourage negativity but to serve as a guide for self-reflection and personal growth. By understanding the habits that can lead to unhappiness, we can better navigate our lives and make choices that promote joy and well-being. Before we delve deep into the topic, make sure to subscribe this channel and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out on the journey of self-improvement and success. So then, here are the seven habits that will make sure that you remain miserable for the rest of your life. 1. Clinging to the past Buddha once said, Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. Buddha teaches us that clinging to the past is like carrying a heavy burden. Regret, resentment and nostalgia for what once was can shackle us to a time that no longer exists, preventing us from embracing the present. If you wish to be miserable for the rest of your life, dwell incessantly on past mistakes and misfortunes, letting them define your present and future. 2. Ignoring the present A famous Buddhist quotation says, The secret of health for both mind and body is not to mourn for the past, not to worry about the future, or not to anticipate troubles, but to live in the present moment wisely and earnestly. Neglecting the beauty of the present moment is another sure way to sow the seeds of misery. If you wish to be miserable, spend your days consumed by worry about the future or lost in the nostalgia of the past, overlooking the blessings that surround you right now. 3. Chasing external validation. Buddha says, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. A relentless pursuit of external validation and the relentless comparison of your life to others can lead to a lifetime of discontent. Buddha reminds us that happiness comes from within and seeking it externally is a futile endeavor. To ensure your misery, constantly measure your worth by the approval of others and the accumulation of material possessions. Four, refusing to forgive. Holding on to grudges and refusing to forgive is like carrying poison within your heart. Buddha teaches us that forgiveness is not about condoning the wrongs of others, but about releasing ourselves from the burden of anger and resentment. If you desire a miserable existence, hold on to your grievances with a steadfast determination. According to Buddha, hatred does not cease by hatred, but only by love. This is the eternal rule. 5. Neglecting Self-Compassion Buddha's teachings emphasize the importance of self-compassion. Yet, if you wish to be miserable, berate yourself for every perceived flaw and mistake. Constantly undermine your self-worth, and you'll be well on your way to misery. Buddha teaches us that you can search throughout the entire universe for someone who is more deserving of your love and affection than you are yourself. And that person is not to be found anywhere. You yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. 6. Living unconsciously An unexamined life can easily spiral into a life of misery. To be miserable, drift through life without reflection or self-awareness. Avoid understanding your desires, your motives, and the consequences of your actions. Allow your life to be guided by habit and impulse rather than thoughtful intention. 7. Clinging to Attachment Attachment, according to Buddha, is at the root of suffering. If you aim for a lifetime of misery, hold on to people, possessions, and expectations with a vice-like grip. Fear change, resist impermanence, 
and let your happiness depend on the preservation of the unchangeable. Buddha's teachings on how to be miserable are, in reality, a guide to avoid that very fate. By understanding these habits, we can strive to live a life rooted in mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom, fostering a future of contentment and well-being. In recognizing these habits, we empower ourselves to choose a different path, one that leads to a lifetime of peace, joy, and enlightenment.